I thought I would record this quick five minute video to help people when they, if they choose to upgrade their <clears throat> iMac to uh, an SSD. Uh, this can save you up to two hours of time. So I'll show you a quick tip. Uh, as you can see, I put in a two terabyte um, SSD by Samsung. I just used, um, you know, like double sided adhesive to do that because the brackets, the official brackets, it costs a lot of money. Everything else, it, ha it had brackets in there already, as you see, but it didn't come with this cable here. It didn't come with a SATA cable. And so if you look up on, I think it's WikiHow or something like that, or I Mac fix it or I fix whatever, if you look up the process for these operations, you can find out how long it's going to take. I also needed to upgrade the fan. Well, not upgrade it. I needed to replace it and because it was making a lot of noise. So they're actually quite expensive and they're very hard to find now. Even on eBay, there's not that many of them. And when you can find them, the shipping is very high. But anyway, I bought this other fan. Here's my old one. And I've actually serviced this and put some new oil in it as well. I recommend you do this if you are upgrading to... Um, the SSD while you have cracked the screen open um, it's, it may be worth dismantling this and dropping a couple of drops of oil in there because if you don't it will make a horrendous rattle so the original reason I'm opening this case is to service the fan not actually to put the hard disk in so but I thought while I'm doing the fan I might as well put the hard disk in now after waiting five years so okay so if you if you search for <coughs> replacing the the SATA cable you actually find that um, this job is fairly easy there's just these three screws here the torque screws one two three and but replacing the SATA cable is like a two-hour job and the reason for that is because it goes the, the SATA cable goes underneath here and plugs onto the back side of the motherboard so it's almost like Apple has purposely made it difficult so the official way to do this to put the new SATA cable because it doesn't come with the SATA cable the new the, the proper way is to take off both speakers as you can see I've already taken off one speaker you take off both this is to just add as add one side of cable okay in a PC this is a two minute job it's literally two not even that 30 seconds boom you plug in the side of cable on a Mac it's a two-hour job what they want you to do is replace uh, remove both speakers either side they want you to take off this motherboard right here, the power motherboard, and the fan, and the existing hard disk, I think it was, and and this motherboard, so you can reach behind this motherboard here to plug in the SATA cable and power cable. And I'm sorry, but I wasn't about to spend two hours of my life unscrewing all these bullshit screws here and potentially risking damaging something, and so I thought, well, I have to find another way. And what I did was looked at pictures of the motherboard online very clearly, okay, and I saw where the power cable plugs in and where the SATA cable is. So I'm going to show you that right now. So what, um, what, where it is, is right here. You see the, sorry if I've got the lighting bad, but it's this or nothing. So here's, here's the, the Bluetooth the, the Bluetooth um, wires, you'll see this is the, this is the cable um, for the screen. This is this gold thing here. And then if we, if we go like, I'll try and do it without blocking the light. So, just so you can see, the power cable is just actually right there. The power cable, you can, you can probably just make it out. I might be able to turn on the flash. There it is. So I think I'll keep that on while we look at this. So that's where the power cable goes for the SATA. And that you can just easily reach in there and plug it in. You don't have to take off the whole friggin' motherboard to do it. The SATA cable is a bit trickier. So just, just so you know, the, the this is a 2000, late 2014 Mac, iMac Retina. The, the power cable for this, the the SATA is, is just behind where the display where you would have pulled out the ribbon cable from the display screen 
And there it is, it just plugs in, it, it, you'll see the socket and it just plugs straight in. Then we can go to the, uh, we'll go to the, the actual SATA plug. And what I found is, uh, I referenced that, you know, like looking at all the parts and it's actually located down near this, um, this, this notch here. This is where the speaker cable goes. Now if you look behind there, okay, let's go behind there. I won't be able to get the phone behind here because it's actually quite tight. But there it is there. That right there is the SATA cable plug. And you can see it, you, if you get a mirror like this one here, you can place that mirror behind there like that and you can more cleanly see what we're doing. So that right there, I don't, I don't want to drop the mirror in there, but you can see the, the SATA, SATA port right there above that. Sorry if I'm, sorry if it got a bit shaky there. It's because I'm trying to hold a mirror and, and film this at the same time and focus it and everything. So if you put the mirror in where that notch is, you'll be able to see right there is the SATA plug. And what I bought was a cable. Um, there it is there. Okay. I can't really get it much clearer than that. But that it's just above that capacitor. I may even put a link to this uh, to to what it looks like so you'll know what you're doing. I was saying uh, I'll may put a link to the photo just to make it clearer, but you can do the same thing here. You know, you can put a mirror there, and you just find where you plug it in. Then it's just simply a matter of routing the power cable um, underneath, and it shouldn't be too too hard to figure out if this if you remove this fan. That's not such a hard job to remove the fan only because there's only three screws and one little plug here. But, um, you know, you can just route that underneath. And I don't think that will really... I don't think the routing of the, of the SATA cable is that important. Um, you know, they're going to just tell you what way to do it. I mean, theoretically, yeah, it shouldn't go... I've just routed it here, above here. It shouldn't probably go above, above right near the processor. Like, ideally, it, it, it would probably come down here and go that way because it's not as hot or something. I don't know. As you can see, I also bought one of these, these um, cheapy $4 things, um, caddies, but that actually didn't fit. It's actually too narrow if you look at it, so, so I've just, I just actually stuck the thing on. I thought, fuck it. Right, so I hope you like the hack. It probably will take you maybe 20 minutes, I'd say, if you do it this way. If you do it the other way, um, two hours. Alright, so I hope that's some help to somebody. Thanks for watching. Bye.